Right then, we're back on the bank. You join me on a early morning session uh, down on one of my old local haunts back when I was a um, in my early teens. I used to ride down there on my bike. Um, used to meet up with my mate who um, lived quite local to this um, this little river, and um, yeah, we used to just walk around, um, spend a few hours, sometimes the odd day, um, doing little competitions: how many minnows we could catch, how many chub could we catch. Um, and sometimes you get the old bonus fish, um, like a nice trout, and there is a few trout in here. Um, I'd also spent the odd odd time uh, fishing for the roach, because there are some uh, good shoals of roach, and they do go up to um, sort of the £2 mark. Um, I think I've had them up to about £1.12, so um, there are a few nice roach in here as well, but um, I haven't done that for a while, and it tends to be more of a, a winter venue for me. But anyway, I thought I'd um, spend a few hours... Just having a little go for um, whatever really, just trotting uh, maggots down. I did a bit of free lining, uh, just trying to catch sort of some of the chub roach and I was getting pestered by the minnows and the old gudgeon. Um, but it was really good fun and uh, it was nice sort of reliving um, the younger days when I used to come down here on the bike and that. And So I decided to leave the SLR at home this time and um, just bring the GoPro so I could travel nice and light and um, just see what I could catch. Hopefully I was going to get amongst... Um, get amongst a few chub and a few roach and that, so see what happens. Just a roach. There's no gill cover. He's been attacked before, that guy. Look at that, he's got no gill cover. Looks like he's been attacked. Look at the other side. That's cool. Oh dear. That tree. Don't know how long ago that happened. Hmm? Trees falling ever everywhere I go. Trees are coming down. Just a sign of the weather. Hmm. Old school chub tactics. There you go.
Bound to be some fish out there, if I'm honest. It's lovely and uh, a good bit of depth. Yep, I see a chub swimming up there, not very big. Could be the uh, could be the seam shawl that I dropped back, so we we'll move a bit further down. As you can see, it's just full of rubbish. It's a lovely deep bit there. I'm sure there's probably something out there, but I'll keep moving. There's a nice big, oh this has changed along here. I used to catch pike out of this swim. Would you believe? Pike out of here, yes. Big snake on that far side. Really all you're doing is just looking for fish. Stalking pretty much. This is where I uh have some pike once upon a time. They weren't very big but what I'm going to do is it's quite a nice spot to be close in. See if there's anything in here. Oh, hello, straight away. Oh, that's a nice fish. A couple in here. The biggest one's maybe two pound. Oh, I've just got a smallest little bloody minnow. Great. Boom. Pristine looking chub. Any little guy, but you know. Definitely not the biggest that was down there. But good fun. I just thought I'd do a um ending update. So um as you can see, this was just a, um, a little session down at my local, reliving my youth. Um, it's been quite good. I've had um, loads and loads of fish. The biggest, probably a chub, about, I don't know, pound and three quarter, something like that. Um, lost one, I think it was probably about three pound, but it went underneath a snag and um, cut through the earthling. But then again, I'm not out for anything big, so it was a good bit of fun. Had loads of minnows, pretty much getting one a chuck. Um, they're actually a little bit annoying because um, it means you can't get some of the better fish, but oh well. Um, anyway, we're going to leave it here, so um, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and um, yeah, give me a like.
bit of a short video for a change and fishing for some different species but um yeah hope you like it see you again soon